you did have some off camera <laughs> shoddy bays. Um, oh. you're like, what? Xavier had um some girlfriends. He he ran through. He was you ran, ran through. through, bro. No. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Keenzer World Podcast. We have. Not so special guests with us today. I'm just joking. Long awaited, my little brother. Little. Little. Well, older, but little. Sorry. Hi. Hi. You're welcome. Welcome back. Thank you. Long time no see. It's been a whole about 12 hours. Well, I mean, 30 minutes because we just. Oh, yeah. I guess yeah. we we're just right here. Anyways, um, we have my brother. You guys know him. Everyone loves him. Um, Depending on who you talk to. That's true. But I mean, as the viewers, I feel like they love you. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so, um, but I'm excited to have you on. I feel like this is going to be fun. There hasn't been a male on this podcast, so welcome. You're changing the norms. Hopefully. For boys and girls now. Around Anyways, um, Xavier, let's get into it. What are you doing? <laughs> You're like, what am I doing? Yeah. Current day. So you joined the military back in 2019, right? Correct. So you have about a year left. So, yeah. So I enlisted... August of 2019, um, ended up celebrating my 21st birthday in boot camp, which was I'm sure so fun. Yeah, yeah. which we'll just say it was fun, yeah. right? It was fun. Right. Um, got deployed, um, came back on your birthday. Mm -hmm. Actually, he surprised me surprised um, in Vegas. Yeah, he showed up. What was it? Day after my 21st birthday? The day it was after. The 17th. And he showed up with like flowers and stuff, and it was so sweet. Even though my ass knew that you're coming home, TBH. Oh. Your friends told me. Oh, it'd be your rats. own friends. It'd really be it'd your be own, own homie friend. sometimes. No, but he um surprised me, and it was really. I think I have like a video, but we'll see. Um, but it was really cute. And then you were in Australia. Yeah, I was in Australia for six, seven months. And so. how was that? Being away from home. I mean, it was easy mm -hmm. oh. just because I like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, it was easy just because I would live on base and then on the weekends every now and then I would come home. Yeah. Um, Did you enjoy Australia? Yes and no. Okay. Simply because like the first, after the first two months, like it got very monotonous. Oh. Just having the same thing, nothing yeah. much to do. Everything was really expensive out there. Oh, really? But then I did get the opportunity to go to Queensland. And if y'all don't know, Queensland is like the most never eat. Okay. This the most guy. east, yeah. <laughs> the most eastern part of Australia, oh, okay. which was really cool cuz mm -hmm. I actually got to see the kangaroos, the wallabies. Oh, cool. Um, went to like a zoo. Um, didn't touch the koalas <laughs> cuz fun fact, they actually carry chlamydia. So Oh. Noted. Yeah. So noted, noted. <laughs> for everyone out there that wants to touch a koala, just beware. Beware. Yeah. Okay. And then you came home and you're just chilling in Camp Pendleton, right? Not really. Oh, well, you're busting your ass out there, but yeah. like chilling. Sort of, kind of, yeah. It's like by the beach. I'm just joking. Um, and then you are going to leave soon as well. For how long? For another like six or seven months. <gasps> are you excited or no? Yeah. Okay. Get to experience something new. Um, go out, do my job. So, thank you for your service, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, you're. I mean, I don't. If, is this does this hit too close to home? Dating life. <laughs> Hot girl summer. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh man. No. He's he's living his best life right now. Yeah, we're trying to. Well, right now, basically, just trying to focus on yourself Me. yes yeah best thing you could do right now um anything else you want to talk about for your current day i feel like all right do you have a plan after the military yes okay what's after what's life after definitely after is you know going into civil engineering uh-huh um getting a house or getting property to build a house um fixing my car Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that needs to. This guy's yeah. been borrowing my dad's car. He's whipping the Kia Soul, yeah, bro. He's a like, little hamster, hey, little hamster box. <laughs> yeah, I know. You need to fix your car immediately because that's pretty bad. Yeah. But I'm excited for you to get too. out. So you're not going to re-enlist? No. Ooh, that's exciting. Your life is going to start. Well, I mean. Not sort of, kind of. Y you know, but you're really going to like. Yeah. 
I'm excited. I'm very, very excited to see where life takes you. And your moment alone is going to be really, really fun. So, um, I mean, you already said it. You, you don't watch this podcast. I've seen, like, little clips here and there, right? Like the reels and, like, that's it? Yeah. Like or, like, sometimes, like, my boys will be like, oh, like, I think they were talking about you on the podcast. You'd be like, where? <laughs> you're, like, you're, like, all skipping. You're yeah, like, yeah, like okay. where's my name? Where's my name? <laughs> okay. I feel like you, I mean, obviously, you're in my dream, Quinceañera. Mm-hmm. And, well, what was your reaction to me, like, having that whole camera crew and, like, I don't know. I want to hear your... I guess I never have asked you that before. Like, what did you... You really haven't, actually. No. Like, what did you... When you so, saw everybody? When I heard about it, I thought, like, it was, like, a... It was a joke. Oh. Kind of like, you were just like, oh, I'm just doing this for fun. Like, everyone's doing it. So, like, let me try it. And I was like, to each their own, you know, kind of thing. And I was like, cool. Sure. And then you're like, oh, yeah, I got picked and this and that. And I was like, cool. Like, <laughs> congrats, I yeah. guess. And then... They, like, pulled up in, like, a big white van. And I was like, someone's here. <laughs> yeah, and then, like, Literally. they started pulling out, like, boxes and, like, camera stands, this and that. They started moving the house around. And I was like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. And then they kind of, like, all, like, oh, yeah, we're from my dream quinceañera. Like, and I got selected, this and that. And I was like, cool, you know? Yeah. So I was just always kind of, like, in the background because, like, I understood, like, it was kind of, like, your thing. Mm-hmm. And then everyone else was just like background character sort of thing. So main character. No, yep. I'm just joking. And then when you um, kind of got into, because you were a huge, huge, huge character in basically, I mean, all throughout, all throughout like the episodes from My Dream Sing It Up to the reunion to LAQ, like, did you enjoy your time on camera? I did. Or it, was it hard to warm up? At first, yeah, because like, obviously, like, I've, this is like new stuff, right, mm-hmm. at the time. And, um, I'd never been filmed or anything. And then going through like all like the little comments, like, oh my gosh, your brother, this yeah. and that, blah, blah, blah. And I know it was like super cringy for you to like be reading that. <laughs> and then mom's just like, oh, mijo, like, yeah, you're so handsome, whatever. <laughs> and then um, the whole like Chani thing coming about. Mm-hmm. And then everyone kind of like pushing for that. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, Let's just have fun with it, see where it goes. Yeah. And then it turned into the whole life after Quince. Yeah, you're a huge, huge character on the show. How did you feel about, like, all of the comments of everyone being like, oh, my God, Xavier, like, literally being a heartthrob of the show? Obviously, like, reading that kind of, like, would boost someone's ego. Uh Uh-huh. And so (laughs) at first it was like, yeah, like, my head was, like, massive, Mm -hmm. right? And then after a while, I just kind of, like, so a sense kind of, like, grew into it and, like, just kind of, like, played that character Mm -hmm. like the the kid like dresses up nice and like is like flirty or Mm -hmm. whatever like Mm -hmm. just fun got sucked into it basically yeah um how did you i mean i know this is gonna sound kind of mean but do you feel like we milk not we because i'm not the producer but did you feel like the producers milked the whole shavier situation Mm. (laughs) you're like yes to a sense yes right (laughs) but like we obviously played it out pretty mm-hmm. well yeah like and people loved it yeah mm-hmm. and so it was like good creativity on them but also like us because it was like we were the ones doing it you know? yeah so so as much as that. like that was fake i hate to call you out but as much as like that whole shave your thing was fake you did have some off camera <laughs> shoddy bays um oh. you're like what <laughs> xavier had um some girlfriends he he ran through he was you have been ran, ran through. through bro no. no i'm just joking but xavier did we're not gonna like name any of them but mm-hmm. just for you mm-hmm. um just so you guys know it's people that you guys obviously know them you guys love them and xavier does as well i had to call you out sorry about that but how many other i mean if you had a number <laughs> A number, like, what are you trying to get at? Like, Please elaborate on Like, if you had a number of, this. like, the girls on the show that you've, like, talked to, mm-hmm. what, would, how, what would your number be? Like, less or more than, like, 10? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but, like, probably four. Yeah. I think it was four. Like, three or four? Three or four. Okay. Anyways, guys, this will remain a mystery, but... Always. Just know, it was very real. Off camera. Um... <laughs> 
Anyway, it wasn't just all my fault. Let's just make that very clear. It was not they, just no, the phone works both ways for sure. Exactly. No, so. I will give you that. Um, but you had, I mean, I don't even think you probably want to come this off camera. Raquel, should we not bring that up? We, I mean, okay. it's whatever's now. Okay, so you had like an on-camera relationship. Right. And for the people that like watch the show, how was that? How did that end? Are you guys, obviously you guys aren't dating anymore, but like just because they probably don't know. So, with that whole situation, like, I went through, like, this, it was very, like, an up and down, like, relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Like, having the show be kind of, like, a thing that we were going into as well, right? I Mm -hmm. tried to incorporate her as much as I could, and then just certain things, like, didn't work out. Like, she ended up going to college, I ended up going to the Marine Corps, like, Mm -hmm. different situations would arise where we just didn't meet, Yeah, like, eye to eye, like weren't on the same page sometimes and things like that oh, okay well and i mean with her like we had a relationship for a while mm-hmm. yeah and so after that relationship it was actually like really hard for me to like kind of move on yeah so that's when i decided like to go into marine corps take a step away from everybody try to start like a new life kind yeah. of thing and try to get my head on straight because that shit was like this bro yeah like, hanging bro. on by a thread yeah and <laughs> um so, so in that past relationship, though, like, I know you obviously had that moment with Shani and stuff. Did she, how did she feel about that? Obviously, she knew, like, it wasn't real. But what was her reaction to, like, seeing you with her sometimes? It was, I want to say, like, jealousy. It was just more like. Ew. Like, yeah, kind of yeah. like, you know, like, this is weird. Yeah. It's like, like, you got to put yourself in, like, her oh, shoes Oh, for sure. Well. Like, oh, yeah, if no. You, if your guy was, like going to record things with somebody like he supposedly had a thing with Mm -hmm. right yeah you'd be kind of like annoyed for sure no rightfully so so okay all righty well i feel like that's i mean anything else about laq do you have like any tea any favorite memories oh the whole i don't know if you guys talked about this because i haven't really seen the show oh okay but the whole (laughs) whisper oh have we told them what you actually said are you ready or should to we just keep it a mystery tell hmm. them um xavier if you guys remember that uh, whole scene on the balcony where in san diego yeah where i whispered in shani's ear what did you what did you say <laughs> please <laughs> and he's being so serious like this isn't a joke he goes into her ear and whispers I think it went somewhere along the lines of like watermelon, 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 mm. or something like that. It was like literally one, watermelon. two, three, watermelon, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, and everybody was like, <gasps> "Oh my god, what did he it say?" It was like the biggest it was scandal. Dead ass watermelon. Yeah. So. So I'm sorry to let everybody down, um, but yeah, that's what you whispered. Pretty anticlimactic, if I do say so myself. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna lie and say like some. Sh- like, You're like, I actually have been in love with you my whole life. <laughs> she she listens. She's like, wait, what? <laughs> All right. So for like, I mean, because everybody wants to know, w- like for you and your perspective, like, do you feel like at any point was there any interest in Shani? Like, did that have an opportunity? <laughs> yes and no. Okay. Yes, in the sense, because like to her, obviously, like it was real. Mm hmm. And real to the point, like, y'all, I don't think you guys know this, but at one point, her dad came up to me. Oh, God. And was just like, I think it was before we went on, like, that first date Uh huh. thing. He came up to me and was like, hey, like, this is, like, her first date, like, ever mm-hmm. or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, be nice. Like, yeah. Kind of like the whole dad spiel. Yeah. And I was like, of you course. know. Of course, like, good to go. Yeah, Yeah. like, at first I thought it was kind of, like, a joke, Uh right? Like, he does realize, like, we're on a show. Yeah, and also there's cameras everywhere. This is actually, yeah. We're not going to be alone Mm -hmm. or some weird thing like that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right. And so it kind of made me laugh, like, thinking back on it because I'm just like, maybe he was a little too into it, too. (laughs) But yeah, no. at the same time, he he obviously talked to Shani a lot more than we did. Yeah. Obviously. And so, yeah, like, I would say, yes, it was real just simply because, like, I was there, like, with her. We were mm-hmm. doing all these things, like, going on that little 
bike mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. I don't even know what it's called. Like bike cart. Yeah. I don't know. No and idea. then just like the constant, like, you know, like the fans kind of pushing it. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, eventually like being around somebody, like you kind of like, you're just like, oh, maybe. Yeah. And but then, no, because like I also had like my own life, like off yeah. camera, like doing my thing, mm-hmm. going out. And then obviously there was Raquel like after the yeah. fact. No, for sure. I mean, I feel like that's like interesting to think about because it. It, I mean, you guys did spend a lot of time together on camera and stuff. So, yeah. but it was always like I feel like always just on camera, right? Yeah, it for the most anything? part, you okay. know. And even like when there was like that little episode of you guys going to find, uh, I think it was like your quince dress or something okay. in L.A. Uh huh. Where like the other girls were there. Uh huh. And then, like, my dad kind of turned it into the whole thing, like, oh, like, hide oh, in the yeah. trunk or something. And then, like, when she walks by, like, come out and, like, uh-huh. I'm like, dude, like, you're doing way too much right like, now. Relax over there. Yeah. <laughs> and then, obviously, like, the whole, like, oh, like, your shoulder oh, scene okay. thing. Yes, 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 yes. So, I mean, it was fun at the end of the day. Yeah. So. Harmless fun. You guys. Sure. We're just having a good time. Um, But for the show, would you ever consider, like, right now in your life? doing something like that again like being so on camera and so public yeah you would i mean it was fun mm-hmm. like we got to experience a lot we did a lot of like cool stuff that we probably would have not gotten the chance to do like mm-hmm. if we had just regular like lives basically yeah. like we went to florida mm-hmm. to get tattoos and like spend the week there yeah and like that was like an experience where i mean i had been to florida before but it was just like you're in a hotel room, you go, like, play soccer, mm-hmm. like, play the tournament, then you're back to the hotel room, and, like, there's a curfew, and, like, there's not much to do. Mm-hmm. But when we went out there, like, they had, like, this, 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 and that. Like, no, it was there's really, a really house, well like, things like that. Yeah. And it was fun, you know? Mm-hmm. So. so you would? Yeah. Mm, interesting. Just simply for, like, the experiences. Yeah, because it was really fun. So... Now we're going to turn the tables a little bit. Oh, God. Right? Oh, God. And I don't know if this has happened because, like I said, I didn't watch the show, but I'm going to ask questions. Oh, God. Okay. I'm actually very excited because, obviously, I've been doing this for a while, and nobody has, like, really come on and asked me stuff. So, this is going to be interesting. You guys get my perspective on things. Um, Let's get into it.